guys, it's Jen from Caddis Scrap Designs. I am just flipping through some pages of my newest journal, looking to see what I can add. Um, I'm taking this page here with the brown paper bag um, where I had added the index card that was left over. It's a jelly print index card. And I'm going to take one of my mushroom stamps and stamp it just to give it some character. I have two different inks I pull out. Not sure which one I want to use. I have a green. And then I'm searching for my red. And I believe I go with the red. Thinking the red's gonna stand out a little bit more. I have red fabric in the book. The cover is red. I think it came out okay. It's blending in with the book, the mushroom theme. Still don't have a journal card or a tag for it yet. So now I just want to take um, some cheesecloth, add that to the front of that card. I'm going to do that with um, this Scotch Create glue stick. We're just going to stick it on there. Again, just adding some dimension. Then I'm going to pick out a little word. To glue on top of the um, cheesecloth. Gonna use my art glitter glue to glue that down. Then I'm gonna take some of my leftover bling and I'm gonna put that on there as well.
So now we have some bling on the top and the bottom. Just feeling around. Kind of thinking what I could do next. I have an envelope here from a kit. It's got a mushroom on it. I'm just going to glue the sides down. Just looking for a page I could put that on top of and then hold it down with a paper clip. I take a paper clip that I already have um, wrapped in some book page um, and I'm just going to make a little charm out of it. I was thinking about hanging it off of the paper clip, but then that didn't really work for me. I decided to put the envelope on the top of the page.
Yeah, see how that's not really working out too well. So now I decide to make a beaded dangle um, using some wire and beads, of course. I thought that was in the frame. Sorry about that. Wanted to show you guys how I did that. Then I'm just looking for a bolt pin to hang it off of.
Just changing out the large paper clip for a smaller paper clip because it was hitting the back of the bag. And just flipping through the pages, looking to see. Maybe I'm going to sew a fabric tab on the edge. So I could go ahead and hang one of those charms. I'm just deciding which fabric to use, um, what color might best go with the journal. I mean, we could use any color, really. The journal has multiple colors in it. So I decided to use a green and white print. Just gonna pin that charm right to that fabric. just have that hang off I know it's hard to see but it's just it's three beads now I'm just gonna go to the other um, signature look for a similar page that I could add a fabric tab to so I can make a charm out of the wonderful I believe I chose the word wonderful on that paper clip charm. I'm gonna use this piano page. It's coffee dyed. So I think a fabric tab will stand out. Using a sort of pink and white fabric, I moved it down a little bit towards the middle. And I'm just gonna use um, a bulb pin with this paper clip charm. And 
and then oops keep falling it keeps falling <laughs> it's gonna pin it right here to the fabric and it's just going to dangle off so when you're flipping through the pages you'll be able to see it even when the book's closed you'll be able to see it depending on how it's handled Now I'm looking at the other brown paper bag, um, jelly print, um, tuck spot that we made and just figured, let me go ahead and put a different type of mushroom stamp on that. So I go ahead and do that. Then I'm thinking, all right, let's not use cheesecloth again. Let's use something else. So now I'm just digging in my cut up threads or my saved threads from sewing. Just looking to see how much I need or how much will look good. Gonna use my glue stick to put it on. So just bunched up brown thread. Then I'm gonna look through my sentiments here. Pick one out put it on top of the uh, brown thread. Just gonna put that right in the middle. I'm actually not gonna put any bullying on this one. Not for now anyway, we'll just leave it as is. Cause I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put in there yet. <laughs> Still kind of debating that, you know, flip through the pages here and there and kind of get different ideas of what I'm gonna do. That's kind of how I've been doing it um, a little bit at a time just because, you know, the ideas just aren't all there at the same time. Um, so, you know, a little bit at a time. Did the charms today. I um, think they came out cute. I should do some charms and keep them separate so I have them when I need them so I don't have to do them on on tape and I'm just able to take a uh, pin and pick a charm and just go with it so did a little bit of work on each signature I was thinking about putting some lace. On the edges 
And then I thought, you know what? Let's leave that till the end. So I put that back. I just decided I'm going to add some more tickets while I have them out um, into the ticket holder. I wanted to fill them up a little bit more. So I'm like, okay, while well, I'm standing here thinking what I really want to do or if there's anything else left to do, let me just do these last four tickets I have sitting here. I mean, I might have some more I can add later on, but just cutting up the rest of these um, and then inking them up. Just going to put two in each. I was thinking, what can I do with that other end of the envelope, but decided not to uh, get involved in that today. I 
figured I'd put some thought into that and come back to that a little bit later on. Thank you guys for watching with me. I appreciate it. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.